Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Cherokee's channel. You know what it is. It is Sunday, blessed day. If you woke up, you are blessed this morning. I am cooking Sunday dinner, and what I am cooking right now is I'm getting my cabbage, seasoning my cabbage right now. So we're going to have cabbage, and I'm put some red crushed peppers on mm. I like a little spice. This is hard trying to do this with one hand, y'all. So let's go ahead and get this cabbage boiling and happy. Okay, the cabbage is all bubbly and happy. Over here we got the rice aroni going. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this down, put the lid on. Today I will be using my new Dutch oven to fry some chicken wings. So let's go ahead and turn this down. So we can go ahead and get that covered. See, so I want to show you guys this really cute calendar that I have purchased to match my kitchen. My pioneer woman stuff, but but sis, why do it start in July? I'm like, excuse me, what? And I pay eight dollars for this, and it starts in July. Are you serious? Okay, summertime. That means summer places to go. Okay, sis, we're also gonna have some cornbread muffins. You cannot have cabbage or greens without cornbread muffins. Do you guys agree? Drop a comment. And then plus I like to use these little cups, baking cups to go in there. Let's go ahead and check on the rice. Oh, uh, she's getting bubbly and very, very happy. Okay, let's go ahead and cover her back up. And then the last thing we have to do is just the cornbread and fry the chicken. I fry my chicken last because I like mine straight out the grease. Drop a comment if you like that as well. After I put it on paper towels, of course. Okay, the cornbread muffins is all mixed up. Sugary and buttery and ready to go in the oven. I turned the cabbage off until I get ready to fry my chicken. I half cooked that. And the rice. Ooh, it's nice and done. And this rice is chicken and garlic my first time ever making that so let's go ahead and put that in the oven it's already preheated at 400 and get it cooking okay sis the cornbread muffins are done and golden brown do you guys prefer i prefer the muffins over just regular cornbread in the pan it's because you could just grab and go grab and go so, everything is pretty much done. The muffins, cabbage, rice, <laughs> and we about to fry them chicken wings in this baby. Yes, ma'am. Let's go ahead and season the chicken. I am using onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper paprika now i know you guys like sis you didn't show no seasoning no salt nothing like that well i also season my flour and that's where i put the salt is in the flour and i will be using uh, mustard as well to get it that more a little heavier crunch you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and season the chicken damn excuse my language Look how big these wings are. Girl, they on stir wars, ain't they? Now, when I fry my chicken, I'm getting ready to season them. But when I fry them, deep fry them, you know, and something like that, I like to leave them open. I don't close them up. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the seasoning these. Okay, the chicken is seasoned. All good. I know you guys going to be like, that look like a lot of seasoning. No, no, sis. I didn't put no salt. Listen, 
That's paprika. Paprika. Makes your chicken like that. Because it gives it that nice golden brown when you're frying it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my mustard on it. The grease is here getting all happy. And we're going to go ahead and put the mustard and start frying. I have all my seasoning in there, including seasoning salt. So I'm just going to mix it all good. And then over here, we have the chicken with the mustard ready to go. They are frying, getting happy. Oh, 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 it smells, smells, smells so good. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Let's start checking the chicken to see if it needs to be flipped. Mm, look at that golden shit. I can't do this and watch this at the same time because this ain't trying to start no fire trying to cook. Okay? Just bear with me, honey. But yes, look how it's looking. These wings are too big to be in here all together. <laughs> First time frying in it, so you live and learn, sugar. You live and learn. But they are frying really good. Get that all up in there. Get them seasonings up in there. Get them goodies. Get all that up in that grease. I want to bring something to you guys' attention. As you can see, my chicken is really, really frying. Once the grease, once it stops frying like this and start calming down, that means your chicken is ready. As you can see, mine is not ready yet because it's still bubbly and happy and getting all, whoo, getting all crunchy up in there. So once the grease, once it stops frying like that hard, it will tone down that to let you know. And plus the chicken will float to the grease, to the top. That's when you know it is done. We are checking on it again. That's what I'm talking about. Some bomb ass golden fried chicken. Look at that. Man. Hurry up, I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay, I just want to bring it to your attention. You see how it's calming down? The grease is not as loud. It's getting done. Okay, next time I come on, it'll be plated. I just had to come on here and say, Oh my Lord. Look how good and golden this chicken is. Paprika, mustard, and a Dutch oven. Let's plate. Okay, now it's all plated. We got the cornbread muffin. That good old crunchy fried chicken wings. Mmm, some cabbage. And some chicken garlic rice. This is me and my daughter's dinner for today. Lunch and dinner. As you guys already know, I cook for lunch and dinner. And we are about to turn us a movie on and get our grub on. Actually, I'm about to go over to her house because this is her plate. I got to finish. Actually, let me go ahead and finish um, putting her stuff in here. Put her rice on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take her plate to her and I'm going to uh, up upload my video while I'm there. 
I really don't want to put this in there because it'll get soggy. I'm going to wrap it up in some foil. So, that is our dinner for today. I hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys when I turn this camera back on. Have a blessed Sunday. Bye-bye. My condolence goes out to DMX. What I say every Sunday, somebody always passes during the week. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.